Hello and welcome to the fifth section connecting data with the force layout. In this section, you will learn how to add and visualize relationships between data. We will code a force layout, which is mostly used for technical data, and at the same time, we will explore notes and links. In the resources section of this course, I have provided you with some files. Please download and open them. So if you did that, let's go to the text editor and see what we have. First of all, we have the index.html file. And here, the only thing that I've changed since the previous section is the title. Now we have section 5. And the other thing is that I deleted the button. And that's it. So let's go to style CSS as well. And here I haven't changed anything. Again, we have the button on section 4, but now I've deleted it because we are not going to need it. And last but not least, we have the app.js. Now here we have quite a few changes. The first thing you'll notice is that the data is an object with two properties, one for the nodes and one for the links. In the previous sections, we used to have only one field for data but now we have two, and this is because we also need the relationships between the data. And that's why we have the links array, which contains objects with two key pair values, source and target. Now I've talked a little bit about links. I'm going to come here again, but first let's see the nodes. A node is a way to describe a unit of data. Nodes are individual parts of a larger data set and they can have anything. In HTML, for example, everything is considered to be a node, but all nodes are part of a larger group. We have nodes right here. And we have links, which is this relationship between the nodes. OK, come back to the text editor. Nodes is an array of objects, and each object has one property. In this case, a country. So let's see an example. In the links, we have source and target. Let's take line 13 with source 0 and target 1. Source 0 is Italy, whereas target 1 is France. So we have a relationship between Italy and France. On line 14, we have source 0 again, which means Italy, and target 2, which means Germany. And that's how all the links are in a relationship with the nodes. The relationships you define can be in any order you want any piece to be connected to any other data. It's up to you and you can give random relationships. Also, when we work with a force layout, we usually have names like nodes, links, name, source, and target, but this is also something that you can change. Before we keep going, I would suggest you to take a look at the links and try to match its source and target with the nodes array.